Hello everyone! Welcome to our subject, Empowerment Technologies. I'm Michelle May W. Pareha, your teacher. For today's lesson, let's talk about internet safety or online safety. The internet has radically changed the way that people interact with the world. They have accounts on different online platforms and some have unlimited internet access. And some are active users of the web. Yet, along with this opportunity are the new risks or threats that the internet may bring. Hence, online safety or internet safety is an emergent concern for children, especially the students. Online safety or internet safety refers to the practices and precautions that should be observed when using the internet to ensure that the users are, as well as their computers and personal information are safe from crimes associated with the, with the use of internet. Now we know about online safety or internet safety, now let's talk about the most common internet threats or most common online threats. These are the following. The first one, the first one is spam. The fact that most of our email accounts come with a spam or junk folder, it initiates the spam emails are huge issue with more than 50% of emails being siphoned into these folders. So the first sample of common internet threat is spam. The second one is an adware. It is a type of malware software that display unwanted ads when a user is surfing the internet. The ads often redirected your searches to advertising websites and collect marketing type data about you behind your back which is considered malicious. Third type is Trojans. Trojans leaves your computer completely unprotected, which can mean that hackers can steal any data from any of your system. Trojans often present themselves as harmless computer program so that hackers can penetrate your computer without being detected. Virus. One of the most talked about internet threats is a virus. Viruses usually attach themselves covertly to downloads as they are designed to spread at alarming rate. Viruses are often attached to files for download, shared via CDs, DVDs, and USB sticks or loaded onto computer by opening infected email attachments. The next type is worms. Usually, worms make their way to the computer via malicious email attachment or USB stick. Once your computer has been infected by a worm, it will likely send itself to every email addresses logged in your system. To the receiver, your email will appear harmless until they open it and are infected by the same worm. Phishing. Phishing is a form of fraudulent activity. More often than not, official-looking emails are sent impersonating a well-known provider such as bank. These emails are sent to acquire people's passwords and credit card details. Spyware is an all encompassing internet nasty and usually attached to pop-ups of downloadable files. Once installed on your computer, spyware can monitor your keystrokes and read, the, and read and delete your files, reformat your hard drive, and access your applications. However, controlling the spyware has access to your personal details without you even knowing. So we all know that spyware is very, very dangerous. Key laggers. 
Key laggers have similarities of a spyware. Key laggers records a use user's keyboard's action. Most key laggers will be looking for distinguishingly key entries such as bank card details and passwords. Key lagging is often linked to identify and elect an electoral property theft. So, key laggers is also connected with spyware, but the difference is key lag key laggers records users' keyboard actions. The next next type is farming. Farming is more complex version of phishing that exploits the DNS system. Farmers often create web pages mimicking that of a trustworthy business such as online banking log login page. Users will then enter their details thinking that they are logging into their usual services and their details will be stolen by the farmer. So usually farmer farming is used by creating or mimicking um, famous or trustworthy businesses such as online banking and then the users will enter their details and then the the farmer will gather their details and their passwords. The next type is rogue security software. Rogue security software is you ever downloading antivirus or anti-spyware programs, make sure you have purchased it from legitimate source. Rogue security software will often ask you to pay, to pay for extra protection, which is a huge con. The security software is completely useless and criminals have robbed you of your money. Next, Emotet. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, describes Emotet as an advanced modular banking trojan that primarily functions as downloader or dropper of other banking trojans. Emotet continues to be among the most costly and destructive malware. The next type is Denial of Service. A denial of service or DOS is a type of cyber attack that floods a computer or network so it can't respond to requests. A distributed DOS or distributed denial of service or DDOS does the same thing but the attack originates from a computer network. Cyber attackers often use a flood attack to disrupt the handshake process and carry out a denial of service or DOS. The next type is a man in the middle. A man in the middle or MITM attack occurs when hackers insert themselves into a two-party transaction. After interrupting the traffic, they can filter and steal data according to Cisco. MITM or man in the middle attacks often occur when a visitor uses an unsecured public Wi-Fi network. Attackers insert themselves between the visitor and the network and then use malware to install software and use data, malici data maliciously. The next type is a structured query language or SQL injection. It is a type of cyber attack that results from inserting malicious code into a server that uses SQL. When infected, the server releases information. Submitting the malicious code can be as simple as entering it into a vulnerable website such as search box. The next One of the most popular one is password attack. With the right password, a cyber attacker has an access to a wealth of information. Social engineering is a type of password attack that Data Insider defined as strategy cyber attackers use that relies heavily on human interaction and often involves tricking people into breaking standard security practices. 
Other types of password attacks includes accessing a password database or outright guessing. Those were the types of different threats in the internet or the most common internet or online threats nowadays. Now, with that, let's talk about the, the evolution of cybersecurity. The evolution of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity practices continue to evolve as the internet and digit digitally dependent operation develop and change. According to SecureWorks, people who study cybersecurity are turning more of their attention to two areas in the following, following section. The first one is the Internet of Things. Internet of Things were in individual devices that connect to the internet or other networks offer an access point for hackers. Say intelligent reports that in 2019, hackers increasingly target smart home and Internet of Things or IoT devices such as smart TVs, voice assistants, connected baby monitors, and cell phones. Hackers who successfully compromise a connected home not only gain access to users' Wi-Fi credentials but may also gain access to their data such as medical records, bank statements, and website login information. The next section is the explosion of data. Data storage on devices such as laptops and cell phones makes it easier for cyber attackers to find an entry point into a network through personal device. For example, in May 2019, both exploding data reclaiming a, our cybersecurity in the digital age former U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security Michael Shertoff warns of a perceived exposure of individuals' personal information which has become increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks. 